So every Tuesday, I want us to be doing live trading uh, together. Uh, and it all depends with the setups that are in the charts. In this case, this Tuesday, the live trading that you'll be doing, it will be on four hour. Um, for me, my goal is to make you profitable. If you keep watching my videos, trust me, you'll become profitable trader. So that is my number one goal for you to become a profitable trader. So and that to become a profitable trader, every Tuesday we'll be doing live trading, like setting out on the trade. So you cannot miss Tuesday's lessons. Uh, Monday, we have settled on the back testing. So every Monday, what I'll be doing, I'll be doing backtesting and involving every kind of uh, analysis that you need to understand and try to show you how market behaves. But when it comes on Tuesday, we are getting serious. On Tuesday, we want to make money. At the end of the day, if you watch any video on Tuesday in this channel, trust me, you'll gain knowledge, you'll gain understanding, you'll gain wisdom, and above all, you might make profit. Why? because it's a matter of the trade has given us an entry or it's about to give us an entry. So watch this video to the end because it's the most interesting video you will have. So at the end of the day, uh, my goal for this lesson is to understand. I have four pairs that will do live trading. And when I speak of live trading, because if setups have not given an entry you just need to go and observe by yourself so we will start with nsd card so when you start with nsd card for us to come to a conclusion i want us to do a top down analysis why because as the, as much as we like to enter a market we need to enter a market that for for the long long term we are getting a confirmation so if i go to the monthly time frame on nsd card uh, we need to understand what is the trend of the market, um, and that is the market structure. We need to understand the previous candle, and then we need to understand the forex pattern. So for me, what I believe is that NSD card started from above here, and it has been making low lows and lows highs. So NSD card is more of a sell. Why? Because this market has been making low lows and lows high. That is very evident. So even on a higher time frame, we are being supported. Our cell is being supported. So you can see from um, which month? From the month of January this year, the market has been selling. No presence of buyers. And you see, the minute you understand that the market has been selling continuously, you don't want to come to counter affect the trade. So for us, we really hope that this market will continue to sell. Why? Because the trend is a sell. Guys, if you can't see, let me just zoom in. <clears throat> You can see since October, uh, since January, this is the month of January, since the month of January, the market has been selling. If we try to see how buyers have come in, it only one month that buyer came and it ended up to be a spinning top. A buyer came, ended up to be a like a spinning top shooting, so you can't even understand. And these buyers have come in and this is a one candle, one candle ranging, which means that whatever direction will break, that's where the market will go to. So according to the market structure on NSD card, it is a sale. Now let's discuss the previous candle. Last month was September. So how did September, not September, oh my goodness, was October. How did October month behave? How did October month behave? We can see it's a red bearish candle, yet it's a spinning top, but sellers are won the battle. Why? Because on September, we had a green candle. And then last month, October, a sell candle. So even the price action, previous candle, it's still a sell. And the third thing that is covering everything to know really what are we doing. We have two patterns here. I've told you, if you can check very well, NSD card, we have this double top. There's that double top. And this double top, it's headed to the neckline. And you see, that's our neckline. So we are believing that this market will drop to the neckline. And then we have to the half. Can you see? That is to the half. The market broke half and it has been ranging at the half. Guys, if you ever see this, the market has a double top, broke half, ranging to the half. Trust me, the market will drop down. That's what I have seen mostly. So if this market drop down, we are talking of 506 pips. So that's how we stand. That's, we have a double top, 
that broke half. And after it broke half, it has stayed one, two, three, four, five, six. It has stayed six months on that half. The thing is, when half breaks, there is no way of going up. The market will come down. And that is the fact, guys. There is a truth you understand because you have tried, you have traded a pair. There is a time when as long as half is broken, the market is headed to the neckline. So you can see we have another channel here. This is a one candle channel. So this candle channel, we don't know this month of, of um, November, what if the market breaks and breaks and touch the zone Y? Because it is possible. So you might be waiting for that channel to break so that you can enter, but already you are being told to enter earlier. So for me, I'm not really, yes, I will look for exits because if the market buys, it means it has bought, but for the sell entry already from a higher time frame, the sell is confirmed. And that's the best thing. When higher time frame confirms a sell, already from the weekly daily, you will go looking for sell. So let's try to see what is happening. From the weekly perspective, um, the market is still ranging, but the previous candle, last week candle, was this bullish candle. And this bullish candle has met a very strong resistance zone. And this resistance has been tested how many times? Three times. We all know if a resistance is tested the three times, what happens? It's either we get a rejection, a very heavy rejection of the market break. So from the weekly time frame, we have come to an area where the market have tested an area for so long. And you see, the market is coming to this area and get rejected. So many people will be blinded by this bullish and bullish candle and they will start buying. But how can you buy when an area is at, at resistance? We cannot buy at that at that area. We cannot buy. So we won't we won't try to buy at this zone. Why are we not trying to buy? Because it is a very, very strong zone. And you can see we have a support that has been tested only twice. So this support has been tested. This is once and this is twice. So if this market start to sell down and come and break out, they will go this distance. So in short, what we are trying to say is that if the market breaks this side, they are coming this distance down. And you can see it is almost touching our neckline. So that is what for me, I believe. So from the weekly time frame, we don't have a direction yet, but the market is ranging. Let's go to the daily time frame. <clears throat> when you go to the daily time frame, we can see that the market um, broke a resistance. You can see there was a resistance, the market broke a resistance, and we were hoping to have either a double top but we did not have a double top. In fact, the market is, um, is hanging. So we need to ask ourselves, why is this market hanging uh, on the daily and it has dropped? What is making this market to drop? That is the question we need to ask ourselves. What is making this market to drop? So because this market is hanging and um, it's hanging, this market is hanging and, and it has dropped. Why are the sellers so strong? So on the daily, we cannot understand because still, if we zoom out, we are seeing the same ranging that is on the weekly. So everything changes when you go to four hour. Everything, guys, changes when you go to four hour. So let me, let me delete everything. So I go to monthly and I know where the market is headed. The market is headed to this neckline. That is where we have said, that's where our market is headed. You see? Again, so when I go to four hour, I already know where the market is headed. It is headed to this red line. That's where the market overall is headed. But if I, I, I look at this market, the market is going, it is going making high highs and high lows, but there is, all of a sudden the market has stopped. What has made this market to stop? When I look at the left, I see a one candle resistance and that's guys what we will capitalize on. So from the from the four hour, we have a what? A one candle resistance. Guys, can you see? We have a one candle resistance. That is what we have. <clears throat> that is that, a one candle resistance. And this becomes our double top. Possible double top. 
So you can see the journey has come from monthly, then we are going weekly, daily, but four hour is what is giving us a clear understanding of what is happening. So we have got a one candle resistance, and then we measure the half. So we are trying to measure our half. That is our half gaze. If we measure a half for me, I see, I see um RBS, you see an RBS around there. I have said so many times RBS is available in my course. If you want my course is only $400, inbox me. Every detail is in the description box below. So you see, you have double top, you have neckline, you have half neckline. You see, you have double top, you have neckline, you have half. So these are possible double top neckline. Let's let's see the half. So this is the half, guys. That is the half. So the thing is, if you have this double top and you have the neckline and you have the RBS, this is supporting the sale. The market is supporting the sale. So we need first to identify. We need first to identify if the market is on the, you need to identify if the market is on the daily, the double top, not the market. If the double top is on the daily. Can you, do you think the, the double top is on the daily? It is not on the daily. So if it will be on the daily, this is the zone the market needs to tap. To be on the daily, it needs to tap there, but it is not on the daily. So it is, and that's why we were saying the market is floating. Like why has the market just hung all of a sudden? So we have an evidence that the market is not on the daily. So we have a double top. And this double top, we know the market is a sell on the monthly and we are just looking for entry on four hour. We use C as the current support break. So we will come and check where is our support. So the market has gone up and then started to go down, red, red. Then we got a green candle. So it automatically we have a support area. Can you see guys? So basically the reason why I'm calling this a live trade is because it's happening now. So I don't know when you'll be watching this video. By the time you're watching this video, you just need to go and flip on NSD card just flip on NSD card. And once you flip on NSD card, I want you to see that by 9 a.m., 9 a.m., this video, I will actually upload it earlier. I, all, I upload videos very late, but if this candle will have closed by 9 a.m., they are how many hours away? One hour away. For this candle to close so by the time you're watching this video already this candle will have closed so it's you to want to see has it broke has it broke and if it has broke what should i do so i need you to watch this has it closed and if it has closed what should i do so that's what i want you guys to do uh, i want you to take this seriously if it breaks like this sell up to where we are selling up to the half. That's around 60 pips. If half breaks, we shall continue selling down. So that's our first live trading, guys. The, it's almost breaking. And like I've said, instead of uploading this video like the way I upload at 1 p.m., I will upload it at 9 a.m. just for you to get cut on this trade. Because if it breaks like that, you need to enter immediately and then you can target here. So for stop loss, if you enter this trade for stop loss, the market can attempt to come up here. They can attempt to come all the way to this area. So your stop loss should be above, you see, should be above this loop. So your stop loss should be above there. So don't put 10 pip stop loss. Your stop loss should be above this area. Why? The market can still come back to that area, they can come back to this area. So the, your stop loss should be around that. So guys, that is it for today's live video. I hope you will understand. 
I have so many videos that I need you to really end. Um, the live trading, uh, I will do according to the pairs. And because I have four pairs, today I will upload four videos. So it's you to watch the other videos. Why? You will make money by watching those videos because they are live trading videos. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Hope and SD card will make you money. Comment down below as the time you're watching this video, come comment down below. Has it broken? Do we have a sell opportunity? Did it reject that area? How is your trading going on? Did it hit TP? The TP is 80, 80, 0.80, and 60 pips. So where you will find this trade, I want you to comment down below the update, update us on what the trade is doing. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye. Love you.